Special counsel Robert Mueller has filed the first charges in his investigation of the Trump campaign's potential ties to Russia. And, of course, news that the charges are coming sent President Trump and his allies into an unhinged frenzy over the weekend. For more on this, it's time for a closer look. The Trump White House knew today was going to be a bad news day, so you'd think they would save her any chance to take a break from the chaos and project normalcy. For example, on Friday, Trump engaged in the presidential Halloween tradition of handing out candy to the children of members of the White House press corps. And yet Trump could not resist turning the innocent task of handing out candy into an opportunity to air his grievances about the media. I cannot believe the media produced such beautiful children. How the media did this, I don't know. Do you know who they are? Uh, do you know who they are? They're the friendly media. They're the fret. That's the press. Oh, you're going to grow up to be like your parents? <laughs> don't answer. That could only get me in trouble, that question. So how does the press treat you? Uh, I'll bet they, you get treated better by the press than anybody in the world, right? Well, congratulations, folks. You did a good job. You did a good job. Here, you did a good job. I wouldn't say you did very well here. That's because you're the president, not one of their children. <laughs> you never hug me. You make me go to bed early. And when I want ice cream for breakfast, you say no. <laughs> also, look at the faces of those kids. <laughs> and they're all looking at Trump and thinking, you're the reason my daddy drinks. <laughs> but it actually... It actually got worse than that, because as he was handing out the candy, Trump made this comment to some of the children. Who likes this? No, that was... You have no weight problems. That's the good news, right? You have no weight problems. I can't wait to see how Trump botches the presidential turkey pardon. You're gonna live, but the rest of your family dead. They're all dead. <laughs> and you only have one more year. You're probably not getting a second pardon. So it's stuffing for you, friend, but congratulations <laughs> on what I hope will be a good year. Did we get the pictures? Can I go now? <laughs> so Trump's weekend got off to a rough start, and then this morning he woke up to even worse news. The former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort and his business associate Rick Gates have been indicted by a federal grand jury on a number of felony charges, including money laundering and conspiracy against the United States. No, I'm no legal expert, but conspiracy against the United States does not sound good. Doesn't leave... <laughs> much room for a plea bargain. What if I just copped a conspiracy against Delaware? You know Delaware was asking for it. <laughs> Things really could not be worse for Paul Manafort around right now. Although, on the bright side... You have no weight problems. That's the good news, right? Oh, OK. <laughs> bright side. Now, the indictment against Manafort alleges that he laundered millions of dollars and failed to register as an agent of a foreign government. The indictment has all kinds of details about how Manafort allegedly laundered money by purchasing items from high-end stores, including a home entertainment company, a men's clothing store, a landscaper in the Hamptons, and an antique rug store. Wow, he allegedly laundered $1 million through a rug store, and not only that, the rug he bought wasn't even convincing. <laughs> so Trump, of course, did not help but respond to the news today on Twitter in a way that made very clear he is not handling this well. First, he tweeted, sorry, but this is years ago, before Paul Manafort was part of the Trump campaign, but why aren't Crooked Hillary and the Dems the focus? But then three minutes later, he added also, there is no collusion! <laughs> he is so bad at this. <laughs> it's like getting pulled over and saying, I wasn't speeding officer, and also, there's no cocaine in the glove compartment! <laughs> Don't look there! It's a waste of your time! But maybe there's a perfectly good explanation for all 12 counts against Manafort. I mean, does he sound like a guilty man to you? So to be clear, Mr. Trump has no financial relationships with any Russian oligarchs. That, that's what he said. I, I, that's what I said. That's obviously what the, the, our position is. Uh, 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 I think, uh, you know, I, I'm gonna... Uh, you know, I think I'll probably... Uh, I think I'll probably die in jail. <laughs> but that Manafort news isn't the only bombshell today because it was also revealed that Mueller's team arrested a third Trump campaign official, a foreign policy advisor named George Papadopoulos, who, unlike Manafort, 
has already pled guilty to lying to the FBI. Papadopoulos allegedly met with a professor tied to the Kremlin who promised dirt on Hillary Clinton. According to the indictment, Papadopoulos met the professor for breakfast at a London hotel, where the professor told Papadopoulos the Russians had obtained dirt on then-candidate Clinton. Wow, so it was the professor in the dining room with the emails. <laughs> the Trump administration is turning into a game of Clue, but since it's Trump, clueless. <laughs> apparently, apparently, Papadopoulos tried to lie about this interaction to the FBI. Papadopoulos said falsely he learned that information prior to joining the campaign but in fact, the professor only took interest in Papadopoulos because of his status with the campaign. Of course he did. You think he was interested in you because of your personality? Or maybe it's just fun saying your name in a Russian accent. <laughs> Mr. Papadopoulos. <laughs> Please, let's have breakfast, Mr. Papadopoulos. <laughs> you can have the Papa Waffles. <laughs> of course, now that Manafort has been charged, Trump and his team are trying to distance themselves from him. But during the campaign, Trump and his aides went out of their way repeatedly to emphasize how important Manafort was to their operations. Who do you believe will take over the campaign? Will it be Paul Manafort? Yeah, I think Paul, Paul is, uh, is totally in charge. Nobody should underestimate how much uh, Paul Manafort did to really help no. get this campaign to where it is right now. Paul Manafort has done an amazing job. He's here someplace. Where's Paul? Paul Manafort. Oh, good. You made it. Oh, good. You made it. Where were you? I was, I was, um, uh, uh, I was, uh, I was doing some Russian stuff. And when none of your defenses work, there's always the option of ignoring the news completely. As other news outlets were going wall to wall with coverage of the Manafort indictment, here's what Fox News thought was more important. All right, this cheeseburger emoji causing a frenzy online. We've been talking about it all morning. Can you see what's wrong with this picture? The cheese is underneath the hamburger. Who does that? Unless the answer is Paul Manafort, who cares? <laughs> you know, Fox News, if you really want to talk about emojis, you can at least focus on the ones that are relevant to the Trump White House. Of course, Fox News was just following the playbook they and the Trump team had adhered to all weekend after the news of the pending criminal charges came down on Friday. Trump went on a Twitter rant in which he tried to distract from the news and lash out at everyone from James Comey to the Democrats to Hillary Clinton. President Trump released a torrent of tweets this weekend, his frustration building to an all-caps crescendo. Never seen such Republican anger and unity as I have concerning the lack of investigation on Clinton-made fake dossier. The uranium to Russia deal, the 33,000 plus deleted emails, the Comey fix, and so much more. Instead, they look at phony Trump-Russia collusion, which doesn't exist. The Dems are using this terrible and bad for our country witch hunt for evil politics, but the Republicans are now fighting back like never before. There is so much guilt by Democrats, Clinton, and now the facts are pouring out. Do something. Do something? He sounds like a supervillain barking orders at his henchmen after James Bond escapes. <laughs> He's getting away, do something, but his henchmen are yelling back, we can't, we're all under federal investigation. But the most disturbing thing, the most disturbing thing about the right-wing reaction to the Mueller news this weekend was their frothing obsession with Hillary Clinton. The right has manufactured a series of fake Clinton scandals to try to muddy the waters and distract from the very real Russia investigation. For example, they've dredged up an old uranium deal from 2010 that was approved by nine different agencies and had nothing to do with Hillary Clinton to try to claim she was the one who colluded with Russia. And Trump himself immediately picked up on that absurd talking point. Well, I think the uranium sale to Russia and the way it was done, so underhanded, with tremendous amounts of money being passed, I actually think that's Watergate modern age. You know what? From now on, I think you should only get to talk about uranium deals if you can actually explain what uranium is. Mr. President? You know what uranium is, right? It's a thing called nuclear weapons and other things, like lots of things are done with uranium, including some bad things. Trump always sounds like a high schooler who forgot to study for the quiz. <laughs> oxygen, I don't have to tell you, oxygen does good things, and then you have uranium, bad things. 
and tungsten do oh, don't get me started on tungsten. <laughs> it's where the tongue comes from. We're entering a new and intense phase of the Mueller investigation, and Trump and his allies are doing everything they can to stop or discredit it. On the one hand, Trump claims his team is doing some really good things, but in reality, it looks like they were up to... Some bad things. This has been a closer look.